Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. Today we're going to be tackling a little bit of everything. We are putting the fall decor in my son's bathroom. We are putting things away, even if that means shoving it in the drawer and saving it for a rainy day. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hand mop the floors. I love to do that. If you're new here, I'm a stay-at-home mom of two. We are going to get some paint splatter off the floor, tackle our bathroom, just kind of get nitty gritty into all of the areas of my home that I have been neglecting lately. So grab some coffee or make a to-do list and let's get started. Okay, so I have my coffee in hand and I'm just going to show you guys we are tackling the AC filter, AC vent, all of that in this closet. We have not tackled this in summer and my husband and I were just completely shocked as to how bad it was and how much buildup there was. I woke up and just had an itch and urge to just get this done and I had started it and laundry before it was even 7 o'clock. If you are anything like me, if you tell yourself you're going to do something, you just kind of do it. And so I wish I had filmed me doing the first pass with the vacuum. This is the second time I had to empty the vacuum and it was just absolutely disgusting. And I mean, it was caked in dust. So I don't know what's going on, but there was just so much dust back here on this part of the filter and then the actual filter inside. So I'm going to go ahead and go over this again just with the vacuum so that I can get as much out. I would suggest if you are doing this, do a dry dusting first with either a vacuum or honestly use a paper towel or microfiber rag, something that will catch all of the dry dust. If you do it with a wet dusting, it's honestly just going to make your job so much harder. Just wait until you see the actual filter to see how dirty it is. We're going to throw this in um, some water before we go ahead and scrub out the tub. And then we will make our way through the house. So like I said earlier, grab something that you need to get done get it done with me. I'm going to go ahead and get this second layer of dust. You can just see how bad it was. And then we will make our way onto the actual filter itself. Nobody told me to settle down. Day, nights and late nights don't get Like I said, this is my second pass with the vacuum. So just imagine the first layer of dust that's on here. I don't know about you, but I did not want to carry this through my house and just have dust floating everywhere. I washed this rug in the back sort of area of our house. This is like our mudroom, laundry room area. And I tried to get off as much as I could before I trucked it through the house. And it was pretty dusty and windy outside, so I did not want to just rinse this outside and then let it dry and then I'd have a ton of dust in it. So I did go ahead and throw this in the tub and you can just see the amount of water <laughs> just coming out. It was so gross. I think I had actually rinsed this maybe three or four times. So the instructions on this particular filter do say to handle it with care so that it doesn't completely rip the fibers. Yes, it's really inexpensive to replace, but why should I have to replace it if I can just take a little bit of extra care? It honestly took maybe like 30 or 40 minutes to do this and it was sparkling new. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and rinse this out. You guys will see the water again. Just mind blowing how much dust and dirt gets caught and you guys, my hair, I don't know. Obviously, I shed a ton of hair just like anybody else, but you guys, my hair is always stuck in the air filter vent or in that part of the door. And my husband's like, why is your hair always up here? And I'm like, I don't know. That's just so gross. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this. I did let it sit for a few minutes each time. I'd flip it over, rinse it out, get a new set of water, and then I just did enough to cover it. And once the water ran clear, that's when I knew it was okay for it to dry. And I sat it on top of the dryer <laughs> on a towel so that it would kind of get some of that heat. And I'd flip it over often. It took maybe like two hours to fully dry.
I got too high and almost left town. But there's something about you, something about you I like. This was the last rinse with water, and you can see all of these are just little fibers that are falling out. It's super kind of like bristly, almost like a Brillo pad, but it's very fragile. I don't know why, but eventually it'll just all drain and I'm gonna deeply deeply scrub this tub it needs to be cleaned so bad especially after rinsing out this air filter you'll just see there's so much scum and dirt on the bottom of the tub and it absolutely drove me nuts but it felt so good to get something clean and I don't know about you guys but we have extremely hard water and I've tried everything eventually down the line i'm sure we'll install a water softener in the entire home but for now i just have to deal with these hard water stains so we'll tackle that in a few minutes i'm going to let this soak just one more time for good measure in some warm water get anything out that is remaining or residual again i didn't use too much water it didn't need to soak anything up like a sponge but i did just make sure that it was submerged and fully in the water so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then in the meantime we will make our way into another part of the house. I was yours for the taking guess I needed a home but if I'm not mistaken you were good on your own oh, and I know I know I was drunk enough didn't know Here it is amazing it looks brand new you would never know that it was caked in that much dirt so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pat this dry and then I'll leave it on the dryer else I'm doing laundry kind of like a two for one here so I don't know about you guys I have been shopping like crazy for my little guys and we do homeschool if you're new here again my name is Becca I live in a small town with my husband and my two sons and we live in a manufactured mobile home we are turning our backyard into so many different things i would love to start a fall garden this year i kind of missed a window for a summer garden there's just so much going on back there and i would eventually love to have this as a homestead but that is a few years off i just feel like we're tackling one thing at a time i'm super excited for fall you guys fall is the time of year where i am so crafty i love to diy things especially out of dollar tree <laughs> if you've been around for a while i mention that like every video how much i love dollar tree um but i am just so ready to be wrapped in sweaters and bake and watch cozy movies i just there's something about this time of year it's obviously the holidays but just waking up and the weather is so welcoming and warm our little guys are getting older so it's just really sweet to see them soak in the holidays and just how much they get out of it so i'm gonna go ahead and start a load of laundry Okay, so here we are in my son's bathroom. We are going to deep clean. I actually wanted to scrub the walls today, but I did not get a chance to do that. I'm going to go ahead and clean the mirrors, scrub down the vanity. The vanity just needed a really good scrubbing, scrub some paint off of the floors. I've painted and I'm not going to lie and say that I am a very clean painter. There is definitely a lot of splatter on our floors. You can't really see it kind of blends in, but when you're mopping the floors every day, you can definitely tell. So I'm going to do that. We're going to take the toilet seats off and then get to that dirty tub. I have no idea what this is. I had a fake boxwood stem in there and somehow I piled a bunch of other stems that make absolutely no sense. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of tidy up a little bit and then we will make our way through the bathroom. If you're still hanging out with me, let me know what your favorite part of the house is to deep clean. Mine is definitely the bathroom or the kitchen. I love deep cleaning bathrooms. Of course, my hair is going up because it's always a mess. But when it comes to like the daily cleaning of the bathroom, I don't know, something about deep cleaning for me is just relaxing and it's almost therapeutic. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm 
I also do want to mention that when you're deep cleaning, I used to look at it as like, okay, well, I have two days to deep clean my entire house and I would be exhausted. <laughs> and it was, I wasn't balancing everything in my home and all of the tasks that I would pile on myself and the enormous list that I would make for myself to do in such a short amount of time. It's not realistic. It is if you have, you know, tons of time and no interruptions and it's just it's honestly not healthy if you are just kind of trying to get everything done just to check it off of a list so what i find the easiest to do is i just find one room i start there wherever i decide to start that day and throughout the week or maybe two or even the month i will just make it my mission to give that room or that area that closet that drawer the pantry that's a whole thing you guys the pantry and the fridge are like two days in itself i will give that area of our house the love and attention that it needs and not put the stress on myself do you guys remember in kindergarten i don't know what i'm doing here but i thought it was like shaving cream i was gonna have my kids come in but it just wasn't working they would have so much fun doing that does anybody remember cleaning their desks with shaving cream there's so many fun um little projects or like honestly just sensory things you can do with shaving cream with your kids it's really fun so i'm gonna go ahead and just tackle the bathroom today that's my main focus and of course the floors in our house the floors always need to be looked after so we will make our way there but what i'm saying is just give yourself some grace make a list but don't make sort of like an end date for your list to make sure that you're giving yourself time to relax and be with your significant other be with your kids or be with yourself or just time to relax and unwind and make sure that you make time for all of that other stuff as well as your home yeah. here's to the good days here's to the sorrows if this is a mistake i know about tomorrow i don't want to fight no more because i don't feel the need no more no just want to make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road Right now it doesn't even matter It's too late not to let it go And that's why I Wish you the best and say goodbye You start to get dressed and then Say we didn't. I was your first love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let. I go back and forth all the time between the cleaning products that I like to use. I was forever stuck on the pink paste, which I will say I have not found anything that has beat that out. I do actually like, um, I think I purchased the power paste for some reason at my Target, the one that I frequent often. I can never find the pink paste online or in store. Every time my husband goes into a hardware supply store i see it but i always forget to pick it up so i was in target and i picked up the um scrub daddy i think it's the power paste and it does work pretty well it's a little bit of a different formula and i will say it's pretty harsh on your hands so wear gloves if you're not and i always snake the drains so yes everybody has hair hiding in their drains 
Um, you can actually get this snake drain. Um, I don't know if that's what it's called, but don't forget to do this when you are deep cleaning. Do this in your sinks and do that in your bathtubs. I do it in all of our bathrooms. I am the only girl in the house, so I shower and have everything in everybody's bathroom. My kids are super little, so kind of take over. It's just natural. It's part of life. It's something super simple. It takes maybe five minutes to do both of the drains, but it is one of those things that will save you so much money and so much stress in the long run. This one has kind of run its course. I've had it in the bathroom for about two years. They're really inexpensive. They're super flexible, but I like that they dry really simply. You can just kind of let it air dry and it works really well. So thankfully there wasn't a lot hiding in here. I'm going to go ahead and finish that and then I will go ahead and start scrubbing the tub. So let's call it a night and that's why I wish you the best to say goodbye. You start to get dressed and then we cry. Cause we both know it's gonna hurt. But not as much as this does. There was such a film on the tub from all of the dirt and just regular soap scum from taking baths in here and taking showers, things like that. We clean the tub every week, but it's just there's a natural buildup that occurs. So just make sure that when you are deep cleaning at least once a month, try to tackle these areas. I like to call them hot spots. These are obviously the areas that we use the most and in your bathroom. It's hard to avoid any of those spaces, the tub, the shower, and the mirrors, sinks, all of that. It just gets so grimy if you imagine how many times you get in and out of the bathroom. So during the week, I like to at least do a quick freshen up. It is not by any means a serious clean. I will wipe the mirror just so that it looks presentable. It's always nice looking in the mirror and <laughs> there's no water spots and toothpaste splatter, things like that. And then scrubbing the toilet. I like the Clorox um, toilet wand, I think is what it's called. They are the um, disposable ones. I find it's honestly the cleanest way for me to clean the toilet without having to put my hand in the toilet. That's just something I can't get past. And then when it comes time to do the deep clean, it's honestly just a lot, le a lot less stressful when I do go into the bathrooms or the kitchen, any place, and do a deep clean. So I actually loved i followed the fly ladies routine for about a month and a half maybe two months and i got quite a bit out of it i was 
in no way trying to implement this every day. I like to follow different cleaning routines or different cleaning schedules and then take away from it things that I love. And one of the main things that I took away from Flight Lady, I loved everything that she sets up as far as zone cleaning and the morning routine and just kind of getting in the habit of doing little things when you're in that area, taking 15 minutes a day to declutter. I have a whole playlist for the Fly Lady videos. I love the systems. It's not something that I keep up with every day, but I took away so many different valuable lessons when it comes to keeping up your home. So one of my major tips when it comes to deep cleaning is try to make it an effort. If you're already in there, get it done now. And the other thing is like the two minute rule. I did a super quick two minute video on that. If it takes two minutes, basically just do it now. It may take two minutes to quickly scrub out the toilet or scrub out the sink or put the dishes away, fold that load of laundry. You're not taking, you know, 15 minutes to fold, put away, hang up clothes. You're doing two minutes to fold it, another two minutes to put them away. And I promise you, when you just do these little things, you'll get into the habit of doing them more frequently during the week. And it just becomes so much less overwhelming to manage your home. Dish soap is by far my absolute favorite cleaning <laughs> tool to have in my cleaning kit. It is literally the most versatile thing you can use as well as vinegar. We'll talk about that later. Uh, you guys, I've been using vinegar on my stove and I feel like it just kind of caused an issue. I'll show you that in a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, scrub out the tub. This is a little bit of a chatty video, but it is an hour long. If you're still hanging out with me, let me know what you're tackling right now. the power paste this is my honest first review i'm actually pretty impressed if you guys remember seeing before there was such a pink ring around the tub and that comes over time obviously we scrub out the tub but hard water stains are really hard to get rid of if you have very hard water so my first reaction is i love the sponge the sponge does a pretty good job and the power paste itself for getting the sort of ring out of the tub, the water lines, all of that. It did a really good job and it actually brushed, I think it's the, it's like a nickel finish, I'm not sure, whatever it's called on the shower, those fixtures. It did a really good job at removing a lot of the water spots. I'm gonna go ahead and refill the tub cleaner, wipe down the toilet with Clorox wipes, and then we are removing the toilet seat. 
it's one of those things that once I learned how to do it and yes when I say learn how to do it it's just one of those things you don't think about but once you teach yourself it's really simple it's two tiny little screws and it takes an extra five to ten minutes to let it disinfect and a lot of times when I am disinfecting this I don't sit it in this huge bucket of water it's really simple to just wipe down and kind of move on with your day but it's one of those things that if you know about it you know it's clean you honestly feel so much better won't stop for traffic lights and i i really want to know really want to know if i let me figure out where the road goes even if i'm falling down i will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So removing the toilet seat, I actually have a video on this. I used to do like a how to Tuesday series. There's a whole playlist. I'll try to link all of these down below. Sometimes I forget if you don't see it, let me know. Um, but it's really simple. Underneath the toilet, there's two screws and they may be plastic. They may not be. Um, most toilets I'm pretty sure are made fairly similar. You just unscrew those. And if you have an older toilet seat, you can see how grimy it gets. I've honestly seen it worse than this. So this isn't bad since I do it pretty often, but it's nothing that you can't clean. Honestly, a little bit of hot water, some soap or whatever cleaner you have on hand, it's not going to be that hard to just kind of scrub at it. If you have one that's super dirty, you can use a little toothbrush. It doesn't matter. There's ways to clean things. I promise you and make them look better. You just unscrew those, pop it off really quickly, and you saw me kind of lift up those little flaps. If you're not in the mood to unscrew it because that takes extra time, you can always lift up the flaps and then wipe things down. And you can see I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the top where the little ring is, and then I'm actually going to wipe underneath as well. There's grime that hides everywhere on these toilets. I like to wipe around the rim of the toilet with a Clorox wipe and behind the toilet is one of those places that is often very forgotten and one of the most dirty places so don't forget that and then the baseboards be careful if you're wiping baseboards if you don't have paint on them or whatnot try to not get extra moisture it may ruin the paint or the wood whatever finishes you have just be careful with what you're using around the baseboards and the floor in your bathroom jumping from cliffs so high trust in our wings to fly sometimes we're crashing down but we get up and start from the ground and i i really want to know really want to know if i let figure out where the road goes even if i'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Surprise. Oh. I thought you'd always be mine. Oh, yeah. 
So I'm going to go ahead and scrub this portion of the bathroom. I did go ahead and scrub the floors last week where the tub and the shower are and they weren't too bad but I felt like they needed a little bit of attention. So I love to hand mop my floors. I have a new mop that I absolutely love and then I have something that's similar to like one of those spray mops. Love that for super quick easy spills but honestly I will always default to hand mopping. Um, Fun fact is my mom actually used to clean houses when I was little and it's just something that's ingrained in my head. My mom always, always mopped the floors on her hands and knees and it was just something that I learned and something that I actually prefer as I get older. I realize how much I prefer different ways of cleaning and honestly I feel like it's the most effective when I have time for it. It's great. When I don't, I will resort to something else.
These are decor pieces that my sons absolutely love. We made these, I want to say sometime last year and we've had them up here forever. We kind of just had some leftover paint from my, my husband's bathroom and we went with the easiest theme we could think of that would appease everybody <laughs> and not have dinosaurs throwing up all over the walls. And so we just went with this very, very blue um sea theme and i feel like my kids are kind of over it as am i but we can't decide on a theme or a color <laughs> that's gonna grow with everybody i feel like the bathroom used to be super bright but i've tried so many different white swatches i'm not quite sure what color will work best in here if you guys have any suggestions let me know down below it's really hard finding paint every time i take a paint swatch home and then i go get a sample and put it on the wall it is 10 times darker or 10 times lighter and you can't tell so we have one wall in our house where we test all of the paint swatches and I, you guys i can't tell you how many times i've brought in home paint samples so it's great for my craft basket i'll tell you that um these signs are from dollar tree and i am hanging on to them i decluttered quite a bit i loved these signs a few years ago we've had them for some time and they're honestly just not working anymore so we're gonna put them up this year we'll just kind of work with the hodgepodge that we have i actually added another command hook for my little guy he's getting older and is becoming a little bit more independent so it works to have two towel hooks here and i think it just functioned well they are the command um I don't even know if they're meant for towels but they seem to work <laughs> so we're gonna roll with it i'm gonna go ahead and switch out some of the greenery and just put something really simple in here my kids absolutely love seasonal decorations so this really slim vase i got from dollar tree years back and it works in their bathroom i can put something in here that's a fake stem and it's kind of tucked into the corner i have little boys they like to move things around <laughs> so we're gonna keep it simple in here this year I always admire the videos where decor pieces are put out and it instantaneously looks amazing. I am not that person. I will put something together and change my mind 15 times while I'm doing it and then I step back and watch it on video because I record stuff and I'm like Rebecca what were you thinking <laughs> so I've had so many of those moments last year and this year but you know what when you're decorating you just kind of have to make things fun I found these really cute plaid trays at Dollar Tree I want to say during I, maybe like July or June I don't know you guys I frequent in there so often <laughs> my husband laughs at me because it's literally one of my favorite stores. My kids always ask to go in there because they love the craft section. If you craft out of Dollar Tree, let me know. I went into a larger store, I want to say like two weeks ago, and I was floored. Again, we live in a really small town, so our Dollar Tree is always well stocked. It's great, but it's not nearly half the size as some of the larger stores. I'm going to throw a cute little pumpkin. This Hello Pumpkin sign, again, is from Dollar Tree pretty sure that pumpkin is from target or dollar tree i'm not sure last year and then they just these random picks of greenery i'm sure this will change in about two weeks i like to move things around <laughs> let me know if you decorate do things kind of tend to stay in place until that season is over or do you like to change things up pretty often
you can see those signs don't really match but you know when to my kids they scream fall so we're just gonna go with it this is my stove and this is what i'm talking about i used to exclusively clean my kitchen with vinegar and i genuinely feel like it's causing an issue on the stove these are from the um i don't know if they're iron grates or what but whatever those things are on the stove they're super heavy and they scratch the stove all the time <laughs> so we are gonna try our best to just kind of polish up the stove and needed a lot of attention a lot of this i can just kind of scratch away with my nails i love wearing false nails it gives me an extra kind of edge to scratch things away when i'm cleaning so i'm going to just test the um scrub daddy paste or scrubbing paste you guys i can't get this name right to save my life test it in a small area and then we will kind of just go on with it and see if we can't make this look any better I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can't be And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough Think about him all the time I can get him off my mind Oh, I want him to be mine, to be mine My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him now, 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 now My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah I told him I can be a fighter pretty sure probably like 99.5 percent sure that this was going to work removing a lot of the sort of staining or just browning i honestly thought that the stove was rusting so i got really scared and i was like oh my goodness i have to tackle this today or it's never going to be better <laughs> so um if i'm being quite transparent i'm honestly just dusting the stove at this point because we purchased a new crock pot months back and it has like the saute function i 100 percent will default to the crock pot that is me i am the mom that absolutely loves to throw and go i love things that i can just put in the crock pot set it and forget it i don't want to spend all day standing over the stove obviously there are things that we love when it's a little bit cooler outside 
I love baking and I love cooking, but if I can do it in one pan, it's just like a win for me, especially as a stay-at-home mom or just a mom in general. There's so many things that we have going on during the day. A quick meal, I will never say no to that. So I quickly scrubbed out the microwave. I had just cleaned this. It wasn't too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish getting anything off of there that's going to fall onto the stove and scrub off some paint somehow from the walls like three months ago that's on the outside of the stove. so a lot of my areas of concern as far as just like dirt and buildup grime food whatever it was those are taken care of and a lot of it was actually really easy to remove i probably could have gotten in there with like a little butter knife or something, but I was afraid to scratch the stove. Is it time for another cup of coffee? I would say so. By this time in the day, I was actually pretty tired, but I promised myself I would at least finish the floors, whether it was a good hand mop or just one that was going to be just enough to get us through the next day or so. I'm going to go ahead and move the chairs out of the way. I normally move the table, but I actually slid the table um, out of the way the other day and I almost made a hole in the wall you guys I don't know how but it just kind of slid and hit the island <laughs> and my husband was like what happened and I said I don't know it just like it hit the wall and by the grace of God there's no hole in the wall so I'm not going to do that anymore I will slide it the other way I'm going to just get things out of the way kind of straighten up a little bit my kids were in the middle of snack time so some reason I thought this was the best time to mop the floor but here we are a little bit of hot soapy water and never goes wrong. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I like to change the water out from the dining room and the hallway area and then I'll change and get new water when I'm actually in the kitchen and it seems to work just fine. I use as hot of the water as I can. Again, I'm scrubbing a lot of the paint. I just recently chalk painted um, the table and spray painted the chairs. They were really dark and I just wanted to change. So there are hundreds of little splatter um, paint splatter like little bubbles on the floor. I'm going to try to get up as much as I can. Over time they'll come up. I'm not going to stress about it but it was just kind of driving me nuts in this one area.
Let me know if you guys ever do hand mop your floors. Do you do that for just a small spill? Do you prefer using a steam mop or do you prefer kind of um, the spray mops that you can use and fill with your own solution? I definitely love every mop for different types of spills, if that makes any sense. But when I am deep cleaning, hands down 100%, I will opt to do a hand mop. It takes more time. It's honestly not as much time as you think maybe 10 or 15 extra minutes but i just feel like i get to see more of the dirt and grime and our floor has so many different speckles and it's like the little knots in the wood <laughs> so for me it just makes it more that much more confusing like is that dirt is that you know leftover breakfast on the floor you never know So this hour is almost done. We are almost done cleaning. I'm going to just lastly scrub the area where the trash can sits and the wall in the cabinets. This just gets kind of yucky over time and I like to wash it down at least once a week. So I'm going to do that and wipe down the baseboards and then areas around it again with the paint splatter. I feel like I'm going to be saying that for the next two years because it just seems to be everywhere in our house. And then I think that's going to wrap up today's video.
if you guys made it this far in the video thank you so much for hanging out with me i appreciate that you decided to click on this video we're going to totally ignore that i rubbed my hand under the stove with the microfiber rag hoping to see if i could catch any crumbs and totally sliced my hand <laughs> be careful if you do that there are sharp edges apparently under the stove i just decided to continue mopping with my other hand obviously put a band-aid on it if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the thumbs up so that i know you, you like this video a thumbs up also if you're ready for fall i could thumbs up a thousand times on a video for that i hope you guys subscribe and i will see you in the next one